Marine Corps also brings you the tail of the tape for this lightweight affair. Julia Budd is six years older. It is Jenna Fabian who's taller. Jenna missed weight. She has a four inch reach advantage on the arms. Lillian Garcia to you. Over 20 nations are represented here in the 2022 PFL season. And now this fight is in the women's welterweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's, she stands at five feet, eight inches tall, weighs in officially 154 and one half pounds. In 19 professional fights, this mixed martial artist has a record of 16 victories and three defeats. Fighting out of Port Moody, British Columbia, Canada, here is Julia the Jewel Bud. Her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She is a Muay Thai specialist. Standing at six feet even, she weighs in officially 160 and three quarter pounds. In six professional fights, she has a record of four victories and two defeats with three wins by way of knockout. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, here is Jenna Fabian. Your referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson equipped with our ref cam. Jenna Fabian in the blue. Julia Budd in the gray. Ma'am, are you ready? Ma'am, are you ready? Fight. Southpaw stands for Fabian. Orthodox for the Canadian Julia Budd. Fabian with a world championship in kickboxing with an amazing head kick. Kenny, one of the first questions you have to ask with a bout like this one is when you miss weight by five pounds, how does that affect your mentality, much less your physicality? Yeah, I mean, that's going to be the question. She's got to put that behind her, just move forward. She has a big challenge in front of her right now, Julia Budd. fight starts going to the second and third round how the conditioning is going to be for Jenna Fabian Julie Bud catches a kick gets in on the leg and immediately goes to work trying to secure a takedown here against Jenna Fabian single pretty deep but Jenna doing a good job of keeping that split stance she seems pretty based here so far not unlike Sada Boussi who we saw in the last bout Jenna Fabian came in as a bona fide striking specialist has spent a lot of time and a lot of effort trying to round out her skill set eliminate the holes in the wrestling and grappling but trying to work her way up bring those hips in Take Fabia off her feet with that high single. Find a way to put Fabian on her back. Fabian using that overhook and has trapped Bud's head pretty tight in there. It's going to be difficult to change that elevation for Julia Bud. Bud switching back here to a single. Well, she's got to get that leg off the floor or switch to a double if she can. If those legs get too close together from Jenna Fabian. Jenna Fabian's coach and cousin Eugene Behrman, legendary out of city kickboxing, in the corner calling for her to stay, stay hard on the wizard. Referee looking at the situation, trying to decide if this is a stale position. He's thinking about breaking it up, I think. But trying to change tactics and go for the trip. Manages to get it. Lands right inside control. Jenna Fabian will try and recover some guard here. Julia Budd steps into a half mount, goes to work with her left hand. Fabian reaching over for that Kimura grip. 
Julia has very good position here. Very difficult to get that Kimura from half guard. Julia chipping away, trying to advance position, trapping that arm now. Now setting up, or potentially setting up some big left hands here. It's really that head position of Julia Budd that traps the left arm of Jenna Fabian, doesn't allow her to dig for that underhook, use that fence and try and find her way up. This is a much better position now for Jenna Fabian. Fabian posts on the right, gets her right leg out and back to her feet. Nice work by Jenna Fabian. Sneaks it an underhook as well. And concedes it. Nice knee to the body there from Julia Budd. Pressure from the Canadian, Jenna Fabian, stuck against the barrier here in the smart cage, throws up a knee of her own. That's a smart tactic, close the distance, get your hands on her, take some steam out of her, make her work, make her struggle. Jenna Fabian gets the exit, steps right in with a one-two. Yeah, did well to control the head of Julia Budd. Inside of 10 seconds here in the first, Julia Budd with a push kick, make it two. Round two next. Bam, are you ready? Bam, are you ready? Fight. Keith Peterson gets them started here in round number two, potentially five points in the standings if either of these women can get a finish. Southpaw Fabian. Takes the center of the smart cage. Nice left hand there from Jenna Fabian. Comes all the way in and grabs a hold of Julia Budd. I'm a little surprised she followed all the way through to the clinch. I would have thought she'd stopped at proper distance and kept letting her hands go there, but she's got good position here. Budd trying to whiz her over. And now Fabian disengages, thinks a little bit better of the grappling exchange with Julia Budd. And for Julia, who wants to initiate and look for this takedown, I, I think it's a little bit of a tactical error to kind of wait for Jenna Fabian to come forward. I think she needs to press the action, move forward, set up those takedowns with her strikes as she backs up Jenna. Having an experienced striker with those long limbs, I, I think she's got to be careful there. Absolutely agree. You don't want to stand out of range with a gal like that. Yeah. High kick attempt there again for Jenna Fabian. Misses with a low kick. Left hand off the guard of Julia Budd. Fabian taking control of the pace setting here in the second round. Looks like Julia is really trying to set up that reactive takedown. But Jenna not throwing herself off balance. She's chipping away. The open stance can sometimes make it more difficult to close the distance, and that might be giving Julia a little problem. Jenna's timing that big left kick, and because of the open stance, usually that's when you would close, but only if you're in the same stance. Left hand snuck through one more time for Jenna Fabian as Julia Budd tried to come forward. Fabian doing a great job figuring out the distance here in the second round. Budd has half a round to try and figure it out in the second frame. More feints from Jenna Fabian. Trying to keep Julia Budd off balance. There's Larissa Pacheco getting ready backstage as Jenna Fabian uncorks another combination. She's back Julia Budd all the way up against the cage, then retreats to the center again. Jenna's being careful to not overcommit and allow Julia to level change and get in on those legs. 
Body kick there from Jenna Fabian. Yeah, this is a much smarter round here from Jenna Fabian. The ghost can. Technological innovation exclusive to the PFL. Glad you pointed it out, Randy. The ghost cam <laughs> allows you to look right through the chain link of our smart cage. <laughs> Tactical back and forth here in the striking exchanges. Jenna Fabian stepping in behind a combination and then right back out to her distance as we approach one minute in the second round. Nice left hand again. And a combination from Jenna. Good timing on the shot from Julia Budd, who gets under the attack, and will now try and drag Jenna Fabian to the ground. Some great combinations there from Jenna. Definitely got Julia's attention here. Even if Julia is able to hit this takedown, I think it's going to be too little too late. Not a whole lot of time in this round. Twenty seconds left. Bud still in on the high single. Jenna still able to keep her legs apart in a solid base with that overhook, trapping the head of Bud. A sprawl. Round three when we return and they exit on a flurry. Excellent work in the second round for Jenna Fabian. And this third and final FPR score favors Jenna Fabian in the second. No surprise there. Body kick lands for Julia Butt. Kenny, what does Julia Budd need to do to get inside this striking range that Jenna Fabian has done such a great job of establishing? She needs to initiate. She needs to back up the longer, more experienced striker. She can't wait for Jenna Fabian to come forward and just hit a reactive takedown. Uh, Jenna expects that. She knows she's not going to throw herself off balance. Julia Budd needs to back up Jenna Fabian. Right now, the opposite is happening. Jenna Fabian has Julia Budd pressed against the smart cage. Julia working with double underhooks, changes the position now. <laughs> Knees up the middle from Julia Budd. Landing on the body of Jenna Fabian. Good head position here by Budd as well. And a foot stomp for good measure. Fabian's got to try and find a distance to re-pummel and get an inside position. At least one underhook. And then as a taller athlete, she might be able to trade positions here with Julia Budd. These are some excellent knees in the body from Julia Budd. She's chipping away. She's foot stomping, going inside the legs as well. Now she's starting to initiate a takedown. Forcing Jenna Fabian to stay on the defensive. Head inside, Julia Budd. Working on a single. Fabian's done a good job of negating this position through the course of this fight. Bud's got her hands locked now. Fabian did a good job of pulling her back up above her hips. Another knee from Julia Bud. And it was Jenna Fabian who initiated this, this clinch that Julia Bud was able to reverse. And, Pressed the fighter out of New Zealand against the cage. Now she goes back down. Julia Budd does. Take a look at the live fighter performance rating right now, favoring Julia Budd in this third round. Two close rounds already in the books. Halfway through this third, Julia Budd appears to be taking control of this fight. Had this one round apiece going into the third. Not Budd. Clearly won the first round. Fabian found her range in the second. Now Bud is able to change directions, but Jenna Fabian sprawls out. 
Goes to work with her left hand, punching away at Julia Budd. Bud really might have gassed herself out on those takedown attempts. Takes a couple of big, deep breaths. Nice, nice left hand here for Jenna Fabian and another good sprawl. Her left hand right back to work. Hammer fist landing. Jenna Fabian forces Julia Budd to pull guard. Yeah, Jenna's making her pay here. And I think you're absolutely correct, Sean. I don't think Julia was very efficient on those takedowns. She looks very tired at this point. Spent a lot of energy underneath the weight, carrying the weight of Jenna Fabian, trying to secure this that high single in both the second and the third round. No question. But Julia's trying to trying to get an angle for an arm lock, it seems. The corner of Jenna Fabian calling for her to stand up and posture. Stacking up Julia Budd, Jenna Fabian on top. Jenna needs to make sure she lines herself back up. Needs to line up those hips with Julia again. Doesn't want Julia to get an angle on that arm as she tries to posture out. This is a better position for her. Yeah, the fence was kind of preventing Fabian from coming around and capturing Bud's hips. Yeah. To keep her from coming to that arm bar. Bud looking just to lock down the head of Jenna Fabian and now overhooks her arms. Fabian punches to the ear. Inside of 20 seconds remaining in this fight. Julia Bud trying to get another angle here. Fabian able to stack her way out of some trouble. As the round comes to a close, Jenna Fabian will finish this fight on top. Judges took a little less time in deliberating on this one. Lillian Garcia has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored the bout 29-28. For your winner, by unanimous decision, earning three points in the women's lightweight division, Jenna Jenna Fabian victorious, just a clarification, because she missed weight, she actually is not eligible to earn points.